Hi, and welcome to volume 14 of Richard's FM Music Recommendations. This week is part two of the one I started last week, which is a review of releases from this year to this point in time, four months or so through the year. And there's already been some absolute cracking songs out and some brilliant albums, and the year just keeps getting better and better. The new albums come from all sorts of people that we're looking forward to. So we've got 12 tracks this week of stuff that's already come out, obviously, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do it. So that's what we're doing. All these songs will be, as usual, in their own playlist on Spotify, which I'll put the link to in the description, and also in the big Richards FM full-on playlist as well for your listening pleasure. So that being said, if you like the channel, please subscribe, give me a like, drop me a comment follow the playlist on spotify either of them or both if you're feeling plush um and yeah that'll be cool right so let's get on with this week's new tracks from volume 14. uh first off is a band i think i had in a week or two ago called the joy formidable welsh indie rock band brilliant brilliant songs on the on the sixth album now from following on from uh, 2018's art which is Welsh for, Welsh for Bear, I think, or something similar. It's a Welsh title anyway. They've got a new single out called Back to Nothing following the, the release of the title track as a single Into the Blue. Um, and Back to Nothing is as good as they get. Joy for Middle is just fantastic. And Back to Nothing is just fantastic, even. <laughs> it's a good song, good slice of what Joy for Middle do best when they're at the rocking, indie rocky best. So well, that's a good start for this week, and I'm liking that. So that's your first recommendation for this week. Second is London Grammar, who I think I featured a track or two before, but their new album, Californian Soil, was an album I've been looking forward to since last year, since they released, well, they first released this single, I think, October, November, I think, last year, called Baby It's You. Um, really good slice of... It's not necessarily upbeaty poppy, but it is pop in a way but with definite indie sensibilities, good hook, and I just keep listening to it and keep listening to it because it's just such a good song. The album's good. It's a lot more subdued than I thought it was going to be, but so it might take a bit of getting into, but definitely worth checking out. You, you must have heard of London Grammar. They're a really good, really successful, I think it's on the third album. That rings a bell, I think. But yeah, I really like it. Check out Baby It's You and see what you think. So next, we've got a proper curveball. So... You all know my obsession with Lucy Spragan at the minute. <laughs> um, I was going to put a remix of one of her the songs off her album, Choices. Uh, the Animal Skank Butcher remix was what I was going to put in. Um, and uh, her album, Choices, which is the sixth album, has just reached number five in the UK album charts, which is not, so it's not just me that likes it. There's also a lot of like-minded people with great taste in music as well. So, <laughs> all very random, but it's good. But she, I went on a on a thing on here, just on Spotify, just to check out a couple of bits. And she's got a new single out. All right, and this is going to completely throw you. But it's a cover of S Club 7's Bring It All Back. Yes. Yes, I said S Club 7. Yeah. <laughs> but as Lucy Spragan does with her cover version, she's made it all her own. It's a simple piano melody with her singing the vocals on it. It brings it to a completely different place. Um, obviously, wouldn't touch Sex Club 7 with a barge pole, but this song is just a really, really good cover version. And as such, is the cover version of the week. Bang on. So, yeah, I'm actually quite like it. I've only listened to it like once or twice now because I've only just found it an hour ago. Literally, while well, I was sorting this out for this, out for this, 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 out for this. So, yeah, there's that. Bring It All Back by Lucy Spragan. See what you think. I really like it. <laughs> God help me. But I'm going to make up for it with the next one. So the next guy is Justin Sullivan, lead singer from New Model Army. Uh, he's got a solo album out that he's recorded during lockdown. A lot of people have recorded albums during lockdown, which is great. Just means more music for us. Um, this is his second solo album following Navigating by the Stars, which came out in 2003. So not following it very quickly. But the fourth single he's got released from that preceding it, it's, it's out next week on the 28th, I think it is. Yes, it is next week. Um, the fourth single, Unforgiven, is, is really good. It's probably the best single off he's released so far from it. The most immediate thing, proper acoustic guitars, evocative lyrics, 
um, and meaningful lyrics. He's put a lot of thought and effort into these songs and it shows. It really does show. So well worth a listen. A, a if you like Nimble Army, or B if you just like heartfelt, well written acoustic songs. Because it's just it's just quality and Justin knows what he's doing and he's got a distinctive style. So bang on. So number five, let's take a breath. Cool. Sound. Right. Modest Mouse. So I mentioned Modest Mouse the other week. So I put a track from this on. This is Strangers to Ourselves, subtitled The Golden Casket Volume 1, which neatly leads us into the new Modest Mouse single called We Are Between, which comes from The Golden Casket, although they haven't called it Volume 2, which is completely messing my OCD up. But never mind. It's called The Golden Casket, and it's out on June the 25th, and it's their seventh album following on from this, which came out in 2015. So that's a good six years difference that they've spent <laughs> between the two albums that were supposed to be part of a thing. But either way, it's here. The new single is really good. It's proper Modest Mouse vibe. They've gone too completely weird. I mean, Modest Mouse are a bit strange, but that's what I like about them. It's got a tune and it's got a, a hook you can get into, even though it's a very strange hook. And I just I like it. It's a proper immediate thing. If you if you if you're already versed with Modest Mouse or that kind of indie indie sort of thing, more eclectic sort of nature than, than straight ahead, uh, you'll you'll know what to expect from Modest Mouse. It's just brilliant stuff. I think I love his lyricism and his voices. His voices, his voice. And We Are Between is a great start to the pro the program for the new album. So it gives a proper indication and I'm very happy and well looking forward to the Golden Casket. Volume 2. Yes. Right. Next, we've got Ricky Warwick, who I've definitely had in here before. Um, I've put the title track from When Life Was Hard and Fast, his latest album, which obviously also came out this year. Um, he's had quite a few solo albums out as well. Um, this is probably his sixth, I think, from what I was trying to work out, as well as four albums with Black Star Riders, when the band he was in with Scott Gorham from Thin Lizzy. So it's been quite quite prolific since leaving the almighty and that was a long time ago so we're not quick keep, keep harking on about that but when life was hard and fast is a really really good album like i said before it's a proper return to form from proper songs proper energy proper attitude and i'm really liking it and the title track is a great place to start so there's that and then carrying on in the hard rock theme we've got book cherry yes book cherry something out early on Let's cover up the F word. <laughs> so this EP, I've not put anything on from, but I'm just showing you Butcher because I haven't got anything to show you. So I'm doing this. This EP is actually really good. It's a six track. Songs of the key of F, if you like. All with the F word, prominent. And it's really good. It's got a proper good cover version on it as well. And say F it. See, I'm not even using the proper F word. I'm just saying F it. Check that out. <laughs> but the new album, Hellbound. It's due out very shortly as well. That's due on, due on June the 25th, as well as the same day as Modest Mouse. Uh, what an eclectic day that is going to be. It sounds really good. I put the new single in, So Hot, the last single. So Hot in, I put in the other week. And that was, I think, Classic classic Rock's track of the week or something. The new song is the title track from Hellbound. Hellbound, obviously. And it's really good. It's got probably some of the best thing they've done since since that, basically. It's, it's just a good, solid rock song. Proper ACDC vibes, proper Buck Cherry on their own vibes. And I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm well looking forward to that album as well. Do like a bit of Buck Cherry. I'm sure they're not the last of the, the decent hard rock bands knocking about, but they are certainly one of the best. And they've been around a while. I and mean, this must be, oh, it is the ninth album, disregarding songs in the key of F. Um, yeah, I'm just well looking forward to that. And... So moving on from that one, check that out, because that's Bob on if you like a bit of hard rock. We've got the next in a little hard rock trilogy I've got going on again. But this one is more of a rock ballad. So Thunder, All the Right Noises, one of my favourite albums of the year so far. Really, really good return to form for Thunder, proper songs, proper immediate stuff to get your head around. You don't have to think too hard about it. It's just a good, feel good rock album. I'll be the one that's just been released as a new single from it this year. There's a video on YouTube and everything. And it's a proper full-on rock ballad like they used to make them. 
when I hey, when I were a lad, hey. yeah, that one. It's proper good. So proper good. I speak English. It's very good indeed. So yes, check that one out. All the right noises. I'll be the one. Thunder. And that's the last of your rocky sort of stuff this week. You'll be glad to hear. Next, we're going with Smith and Burroughs. So I put a track from their their new album. Only Smith and Burroughs is good enough. In a few weeks back, which you'll you'll find in the playlists. Um, they've got a new single out in the last sort of couple of weeks called Buccaneer Rum Jum, when it's a pieces of eight mix. So people have a habit of remixing singles, especially with Spotify at the minute. Seems to be an awful lot of that about. I'm discovering, but it's actually good. I'm liking it. It gives it a good little poppy, lively vibe. Not that it wasn't a, a dull song anyway, but it, it just gives it a proper bit of oomph. Um, and I really like the album as well. Only Smith and Burroughs is good enough. Is actually pretty, pretty good. Um, well worth checking out if you just want something a bit different. It's not, you know, it's quite, it's not mainstream, but it's probably a lot lighter than stuff I've normally normally put into these playlists. But that's, that's no bad thing. It's good. And I was actually checking out their first album when I was, I was checking out for this. They've got a couple of decent cover versions. They've got a cover of Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World. No, they haven't. That's a lie. Of Black's Wonderful Life. Mm hmm but it's a proper, proper good cover. Check that out, because you know what I mean, to be cover versions. I've got a covers playlist, if you fancy that as well. I'll call it alternative covers. That's really good. Just because it is. <laughs> it's full of random stuff. But yeah, check out a bit of Smith & Burroughs. I like it. It's Tom Smith from Editors and Andy Burroughs from, well, ostensibly from Razor Light, amongst other people. Well worth a check out. So, the tenth track this week is from William the Conqueror, who I do keep banging on about, but that's only because they're absolutely banging. The new album, Maverick Thinker, is quite possibly my favourite album of the year. Oh, well, certainly above Thunder Thunder's brilliant. Maverick Thinker has really sort of got me here. Just was such a good album. So I'll put Jesus Died a Young Man. It's one of the singles from it. But yeah, it's good. I like it. Brilliant, brilliant lyrics. I love his lyrics and I love the songs. It's just a great vibe. And the whole album as a whole is just it's a must-have listen for me. And I think it's a very, very brilliant album. And I, I don't know whether it's going to get surpassed this year. It may do. You may think something else is better than it already, but please just listen to it, because it's great. Right, so the next thing we've got is more Chiba. English sort of indie dance electronic band, really. Like a two-member thing at the minute. I've put some more Chiba in before, but they've got a new album that came out last week i think called blackest blue which again like the californian sword is quite a subdued effort um i did put sound by the sea or whatever it's called i can't remember what that's called one one of the songs from there <laughs> which was one of the more lively ones um i put the moon in this week which is another track from this album it is it is a good album but it will again like take a couple of listens to get itself lodged into your head but again worth a try more cheaper just around the 10th album that's Blackest Blue is the 10th album. So they've been at it for yonks. Absolute yonks. And they just they make quality, quality music. Just check anything of more cheaper out. Blood Like Lemonade, I think. I don't know whether I'll put that in or not. But that's one of the tracks that got me into them. Uh, and one of the albums as well. It's still a good album. So, yeah, check that out. There's also The Big Calm, which is quite possibly one of their oldest, famous, most famous albums. Um, there you go. That's good as well. I'm liking that. So, yeah, do that. A bit of more Chiba. It's a proper eclectic thing. Um, and this week we're going to finish on a track that isn't a new track as such. It's an acoustics by Thrice. So American hard rock, post-rock sort of thing. Post-punk, whatever you want to call them. They're just Thrice. They just make good music. I like it. Um, they released an acoustic version of Just Breathe, which was on the, the last album, Palms. This one. Um, they're just in the set process of recording a new album which i'm like really excited about because all of their stuff as of late has been absolute quality absolute quality so just breathe acoustic was released as a single this year so technically it fits in with my playlist so i didn't dodge a bullet there at all <laughs> um yeah just breathe acoustic from well not from this but ostensibly from this and that's your 12 tracks for this week but a right blast through that this week um, so make sure I haven't missed any important information out for you, which I haven't. So there you go. So this is part two. I hope you enjoyed last year's, last year's, last week's part one. And maybe, who knows, I shall do a part three at some point. 
just to be a pain in the backside. But either way, really good, really good songs, absolute quality. All will be, as I said at the beginning, in various playlists on Spotify. Um, I hope you enjoy what you've done. Please comment, like, subscribe, follow, and all, all of that paraphernalia. That would be appreciated. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy the songs and all of that. Right, take care. All the best. Bye.